Hello, hello, everybody. I am getting set up here. So I'll encourage you guys to use this time to get yourself ready to. So today is going to be a chair yoga class. And it's really awesome because I do actually enjoy using a chair as a prop in my classes. No, not really in my classes, in my personal practice. So let me just get situated here. Hello, everybody. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just getting, I'm just getting situated here. This is usually where I like to tell um, my students, you know, if you like to have a diffuser on, this is a great time to pull that out. Um, for today's class, I actually just folded up a little blanket and I'm going to use that as like an extra cushion. Obviously, it doesn't matter which chair you use. I have like a gaming chair from Amazon. You know, you could use a folding chair, whatever it is. And these poses can also be done on the floor too. About to get started in just a little bit. About to get started in just a little bit. If you want to take a sip of water before you know class begins, it's so trippy. I'm like sharing the event, and I can hear myself. Y'all know I usually like to start my classes with my ridiculously huge gallon of spring water. Another thing that might be beneficial, I know some people actually like to put, um, and I'll bring it out so you guys can see what it's like. This was something I learned from seeing other people in my yoga training in Pittsburgh. So something that might be beneficial for you guys to try is to actually use your blocks. And I feel like this works, um, <laughs> this is usually like more for the short people. But if you feel like you can't sit right in the chair, you can always bring your blocks out. You know, it doesn't have to be blocks. You can use um, textbooks, you know, you can use a box, whatever it is that you have. But Sometimes blocks just help bring our, our body up in space. And so if you feel like sometimes you're just like, oh, my, my feet feel weird or my knees feel weird, well, why not try coming up on a block? Now, personally, I'm not gonna be using a block today, but I always like to show different modifications because it's important for us to explore yoga in our body, right? Because what works for me might not work necessarily for everybody else. So we're just gonna get started here in just a sec. Well, it looks like technology is just not really working with me today. Well, let's see, maybe if. While I continue to get technology figured out, I do want to really quickly shout out um, to myself, really, <laughs> because the Brown Yogi Studio is now officially up. So today is the first class that is being held by the Brown Yogi Studio. And of course, if you guys saw the um, grand opening message yesterday, there are going to still be free classes like today, but there will also be paid classes. And if you so feel inclined, to donate for free classes, you can do that through the website, which is the brownyogi.offeringtree.com. Again, that's the brownyogi.offeringtree.com. So once you've gotten yourself kind of settled, you know, in my case, I have my diffuser going on. I got windows open. Um, I'm actually gonna light a candle too. We have a whole calendar out right now, so you can check out and see what classes are scheduled. Um, this Wednesday, we'll be having a free 
Om meditation. So we'll be discussing what does Om mean. And we'll also be doing a throat chakra healing meditation using the word Om. And then Thursday, we have a nighttime yoga class at 8 p.m. Perfect if you want to practice a little bit of yoga before getting ready for bed. And I know a lot of the people my age, you know, in our 20s, were like, 9 o'clock is bedtime? <laughs> but let's get settled so we can begin today's chair yoga class. So like I said earlier, if you guys didn't see, I do have a little bit of a blanket folded up. Just as an extra cushion for this cushion, <laughs> for the goddess given cushion. And I'm gonna have my ankles right below my knees. I'm gonna make sure that my hips are parallel. So, you know, not one kind of out here, but kind of making sure that, you know, we're aligned, we're bringing them parallel to each other. And I'm gonna find a gentle lift in my spine. So it doesn't have to be like super erect like this, but just a nice gentle lift so that I'm not slouching or, you know, crashing into my joints like this, but just a nice lift through the spine. And as always, I like to tell people, you know, I give you explicit permission to disobey me. So if I'm cueing something in, ch in this chair yoga class that doesn't sit right with you, by all means, you know, take your autonomy, your bodily autonomy and say, this is not right for me and transition into another pose, you know, or maybe it's a matter of maybe you went too far and you got to pull back a little bit. So it feels a little bit more comfortable, but ultimately I never want anybody to feel severe discomfort or any discomfort in yoga. Sometimes, you know, when it's the rising, when it's the morning and you're, you know, your body's starting to move again, you might feel a little bit of cracks or you might, um, you know, your body might not be able to stretch as much as it might at like 6 p.m. But the goal is never to really push ourselves, you know. It's really just about um, bringing some love and comfort into the body. And to speak from my true authentic location or to really speak about how I'm feeling today, my knee is kind of hurting. So I'm going to try to really make sure that I'm not overextending myself because I don't want to cause pain to myself. And so that's why I really do like to take the time before classes begin to really just tell people, you know, because I've gotten hurt because I was doing too much in yoga. So I really think it's important for us to be patient and compassionate with our bodies. So that being said, if you're joining me in this pose today, I've got my ankles stacked underneath the knees. I've got my, my hips parallel. I'm rolling the shoulders up and back so I can create a little bit of space in the um, in my heart space and also in my shoulders in the space between my ears I'm gonna invite everyone to join me for five beautiful breaths as deeply as you want them to be today so that we can begin today's chair yoga class Inhaling through the nose, exhaling fully and completely through the nose. And maybe as you continue to breathe, you're able to lengthen your inhale and exhale. So once you feel like you've had enough um, deep breaths to begin the yoga class, I'm going to extend an invitation for you guys to do some neck circles. And I'm just starting my neck circles really small, matching my movement with my breath. I'm just trying to see if possible if I can deepen or lengthen my breath. 
And then when I feel a little bit more comfortable with movement in my neck and shoulders, I'm going to widen that circle. Of course, you can stay with small circles or big circles. Just see what's what your body is looking for today. Whenever you feel like you've done enough neck circles in one direction, how about we go ahead and reverse that circle and go the opposite way? So if you went clockwise, let's say, maybe you experiment with doing the neck circles counterclockwise. Still tapping in with our breath. Seeing if maybe, you know, if you started to slouch a little bit, maybe you can extend through your spine just a little bit. And maybe start to shake the head, yes and no. Maybe you keep on doing your neck circles, whatever feels good in your body today. Maybe you look from side to side. Hmm. And if you feel like you've had enough of your neck loving, showing enough attention to your neck, I'm going to invite you guys to begin to do some shoulder rolls with me. So really breathing deeply I would encourage y'all to as you move your shoulders gently gently especially if it's you know if your shoulders are feeling a little bit creaky if they're sounding a little bit like you know the attic door that nobody uses <laughs> I would really encourage you to just take it slow and nice gentle movement as you breathe as deeply as you want to today. I'm gonna adjust myself a little bit just because, you know, I feel like my body needs a little bit of just, just so I can really feel comfort. As I breathe and move my shoulders through space. And you know, maybe if you've gone one direction a couple of times, maybe you reverse your circles, your neck rubs. Excuse me, your shoulder circles. And if you feel like you've had enough shoulder shimmies. I'm going to invite you to join me as I begin to, wherever my desk is, there we go, and I begin to do nice and gentle wrist circles. So really just waking up the whole body, especially if you've been sitting for a long time. Sometimes even just the smallest movement accompanied with breath an intention, whoo, that'll hit you deeper than a downward dog or handstand. 
again if you feel like you've moved your wrist in one direction. Maybe you move it in the other direction. And I apologize if you do hear loud noises outside. So next, since I feel like, you know, I've woken up my wrist a little bit, given it a little bit of love, I'm going to bring my arm out almost as if I'm saying stop. And I'm not going to extend all the way. So I'm not going to like lock my elbow because like my knee, my elbow is feeling a little bit rusty today. So I'm not going to like really extend. I'm actually going to have a, um, a slight bend in my elbow just to protect my elbow. So we're in this like stop position or the stop gesture. So I'm going to take my other hand, place it on the fingertips and gently apply pressure by pulling the fingers back just gently as much as it feels good for you. I'm going to breathe here for about three seconds, just really feeling that stretch um, and what it feels like in my body when I do this. Maybe even applying a little bit more pressure if that feels good. After you feel like you've enjoyed this pose enough, I'm going to go ahead and flip the script. So instead of having this stop position, I'm going to bring, almost like a door hinge, I'm going to bring my hands down. And same thing, I'm going to use my other hand to gently apply pressure on the fingertips to make a deeper stretch in my body. And I'll be here for three breath cycles. Gently, I'll let my hand come down to rest on my thigh, and I'll find the same flow on the other hand. So gently making circles with the fingertips and the wrist, and really just breathing as I move my hand through space. And then when I feel like had enough in one direction, I'll go ahead and reverse my circle. Maybe, maybe even go from side to side if that feels good. Up and down. Maybe get fancy with it. You do a little jazz hands if your fingers need a little bit of stretching. And once I feel like I've had enough of the wrist circles, I'll go ahead, extend my arm out as if to say stop, and I'll use my other hand to gently press on my fingertips. And still paying attention to the spine, making sure we can still have at least a little bit of a gentle lift. If you feel ready, you can go ahead and flip the script. And when you feel like you've had enough, maybe you can bring your hands gently down to rest on your thighs. So next I'm going to do, and hopefully I think Maybe I'll back up a little bit in case you guys can't see. I'm going to begin to do more circles, but this time with the foot. Gently go in one direction. And if it's hard for you to really tap into that, I would suggest coming to the edge of your seat. And that might be, um, that might make it a little bit more accessible for you. I'm actually going to keep um, my hands on my hips. As I begin to focus on my foot and rolling through the foot one direction. And maybe y'all heard my foot just crack. <laughs> and when you feel like you've had enough, 
Maybe you reverse your circle and go the other way. Hmm. Maybe you are able to start bringing your hip and your whole leg into this circle. Going one way and then the other if that feels good. when you feel like you've had enough, maybe you start to roll through the other foot. Maybe you're able to start bringing in the knee and the hip into your circle. And this is also a really awesome pose to do while standing too. If you'd like, you can go ahead and reverse your circle too. Maybe pedal it out, going from the base of your foot to maybe just rolling to your toes and rolling back down. Hmm. All right, and when you feel like you've had enough of your circles, I'm going to extend an awesome invitation for you guys to join me in a little bit of playtime. And we're going to do something called horsey lips. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe not. But what I mean by horsey lips is we're just going to pucker out our lips and we're just going <laughs> to horsey lips, y'all, because it's important for us to engage in play and it's important for us to be a little bit silly. So, you know, if I can come up here onto the internet, putting myself out there and doing some horsey lips, well, I really would like you to join me. You know, I really would like you to join me in some horsey lips. We're going to inhale, extending through our spine, giving ourselves a little bit of space and love in between the shoulders and the ears. And on our exhale, horsey lips. <laughs> Maybe your horsey lips ain't that, you know. <laughs> Maybe your horsey lips sound like mine, but that's okay. Let's try one more time. Inhale. Exhale, horsey lips. <laughs> one more time. Inhale. Exhale, horsey lips. And actually, I'm going to, I'm going to extend the invitation for y'all to do that one more time with me. Let's be silly one more time before we continue the rest of our yoga class. Inhale. Exhale, horsey lips. And maybe you shake it all out. Maybe you shake the neck out and the legs. You know, get a little bit of energy and movement, letting the blood, you know, go the opposite direction as we just shake it all out. All right. So if you feel like you're shaking it all out, you know, you got your, your shakes all out, your wiggles, if you will. I'm going to invite you guys to transition uh, into some forward folds. So these forward folds, you know, you can do them with your, you know, your knees uh, stacked over your ankle. Or if you'd like, I'm actually going to extend my legs just a little bit, not too much. Still having um, a gentle bend in the knees. I'm going to inhale and extend up through the spine. And on my exhale, I'll fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up nice and gently. Back to center. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, fold forward any amount. And maybe you're able to reach your toes. Maybe you keep your hands still on your thighs. Whatever feels good for you today. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up one more time. Exhale, fold forward any amount. 
invite you to stay in this forward fold for a couple of breaths here, maybe about three breath cycles, three to five, whatever feels good for you today. And I'm pointing my uh, toes to my third eye because in my body, that creates a really nice stretch in the hamstrings. Keeping the shoulders nice and loose, not tension. And when you feel like you've had enough, in the next inhale, gently roll up. Inhale and raise up one arm, doesn't matter which side. And this can come up as high as you want to. So, you know, if you come here, you come here, that's fine. On our next exhale, we'll tilt over to the side for a nice side stretch. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bring the hand down. Inhale, lift the opposite arm up. Exhale, stretch to the side. And maybe you're able to have some energy in the fingertips. Maybe that creates a deeper side stretch for you. Inhale back to center. Exhale, arm down. Inhale, lift the opposite arm. Exhale, stretch to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, arm down. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, to the side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, arm down. Inhale, opposite arm up. Exhale to the side. Let's do that one more time on each side. Inhale, straighten up through our spine. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up. Inhale, arm up. Exhale to the side. Inhale, arm up and back down on your exhale. And then you maybe you inhale, bring the other arm up. Side stretch. Inhale back to center. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up nice and slow. Exhale, relax. And maybe this time you inhale and bring both arms up. Exhale, rain it down, fold forward any amount. And maybe you stay here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, halfway lift. So we're not rolling up the whole way, but about halfway. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward any amount. 
Inhale, roll up. Exhale, side stretch, any side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bring the arm down. Inhale, raise the opposite arm up, any amount. Exhale, stretch to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, relax. So if you were like me with your legs stretched, I'm gonna extend an invitation for us to come back into that original sitting pose with our knees stacked over the ankle. And I'm gonna really bring some attention to my hips and make sure they're parallel and feel good. <sighs> Extending as much as I can, as much as I want to through spine and then I'll take one leg doesn't matter which leg but in this instance I'm gonna start with my <clears throat> excuse me my right leg uh. excuse me and I'm gonna fold it over the opposite knee which in this case would be my left knee now I'm gonna let my foot rest on my knee or maybe on my hip or not my hip my thigh if that feels a little bit more comfortable for you but for me it feels fine to have it resting on my knee and again, making sure my hips are parallel. And we're coming into this shape that kind of looks like a four. And this shape is called um, figure four. It does have another name, but I call it figure four. And that's because it looks almost like when your leg is bent over your thigh, it looks like a four. And there should be a little bit of a triangle in between your legs. So I'm going to roll the arms up and back or these choosy the shoulders up and back creating space in the heart and the shoulders and I'm gonna use my hands to go in between the sides of my thigh and clasp my arms excuse me my hands together and I'm gonna rest that on the back of my thigh and then from here I'm gonna fold forward any amount and maybe you start to feel some types of sensation in the leg that's bent maybe not if you'd like to, you can use this elbow to gently push that bent knee out. And maybe that feels good for you. It does feel good for me too. But if this is already, you know, if this is already a lot, that's totally fine. Just bend forward as much as you can. And we're gonna relax in figure four for three to five breaths, whatever feels good for you today. Making sure there's lots of energy in that bent leg so it's not just like chilling out here, but flexed as we fold forward any amount. And extending through our spine and maybe you tuck the chin in. Maybe on your next inhale, you gently roll up, release the hands from behind the thighs. And I like to cradle my foot and my knee as I gently bring it back down to the ground and explore figure four on the other side. So again, knee stacked over the ankle, hips parallel, extending through our spine as much as we want to today and gently bringing our opposite knee over the thigh, creating this figure four shape. I'm just gonna move over to the side a little bit. Planting the foot on the ground as we flex the opposite foot, similar to how it was flexed towards the third eye earlier. And we'll take our hands, bring them behind the thigh. Still making sure we have some space in our shoulders. Um, 
as much as we can today. You know, it's not going to be the end of the world if we if we're here and that's as much as we can. That's as much space as we can create because we also don't want to yank our shoulders down to have it pushed down on our organs. But just as much space as we can today. And as we fold forward, maybe we use our elbow to put a little bit of pressure on the knee and perhaps we open up the knee and the hip a little bit more. And I'll be here for about five breaths. We're almost there guys, we're almost at the end. Using our breath to release any tension throughout the body. Inhale and slowly roll up. Release the bind you made with your fingers on the back of your thigh. And gently cradle the knee and the foot as they journey on back down to the ground. All right, y'all. We're going to end this class the same way we began, full circle. And I'm going to extend an invitation out to you guys to find a comfortable position for us to breathe in for five breath cycles. And then we're done with our yoga class, our chair yoga class. So we can be on the edge of our chair, knees stacked over the foot. Or maybe if you'd like to, maybe you head to the back or scooch back to the back of your chair. And just relax whatever feels good for you today I have a little head pillow so I'm actually gonna put that in the back of my head as I relax my body and I'll ask you guys to join me for five deep breaths as deeply as you want to have them today inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose If your eyes were closed, maybe you gently open them. And just like we moved very gently through our transitions in the yoga class, I'm going to really encourage you guys to gently transition into whatever it is you're doing next. So for me, I'm going to gently put my weight back into my feet and slowly roll up taking any stretches my body feels it wants <sighs> and that is it for today's chair yoga class thank you so much for everyone who stopped by i hope that this was able to maybe expand what your idea of yoga was Maybe you found a couple of poses that you want to use if you're stuck in the office all day and you want to pull out a figure four or, you know, some leg stretches or whatever. Or if you know someone who is a senior or maybe has, um, maybe wants a, a more gentle yoga where it's not so much like, <laughs> maybe you share this class with them. That being said... I wish y'all peace, love, and light. Namaste.